Now I'm going to record this one. So for the last one here, the simple creating the small numbers share step six on our task off of server three. So task new share. Go next, select the server, select the drive that's not C drive or best practice, don't share anything off of your system drive or off of your domain controllers, which is one and two. Go next, share name. The lab said name it small numbers. On the next screen, I don't care about caching, but I do want encrypted access to it for Windows 10 client and higher. Going next, permissions, we're gonna customize. Uh, the instructions doesn't say about everybody on the in the uh, domain needing access, only supervisors and accountants need access to this folder. So I disable inheritance and convert. Removing users, because users I would consider is everyone on the system. And it doesn't say everybody needs rights. So we get rid of those. And I'm gonna add in our domain global group or super accountants. And they are supposed to have modify rights to this folder. Regular accountants that I'm gonna add into the system. And they are to be given read only rights into the system, which is these three check boxes, read and execute list and read, give them read only rights into the system. So those are defaulted checks, I'll hit okay. And that's what you should see to give the managers the ability to make changes in that folder and the people that are under them to only be able to read the files that the managers put in. On share permissions, you always want to set your share permissions. Again, everyone has change rights. That enables mandatory access control instead of discretionary access control for the users that create files on the server. And then for the administrator to actually be able to control everything, select the administrator, the administrator's account on the local server itself, not from the domain. Administrators, plural, want to get the group. Server three admins is the main admins are all included into that one group and they get full control. So the answer for all your share permissions, you should always have administrators, full control, everyone changed. You should see the double bus here. You should always only have the two entries. We don't put accounting or anybody else near. That's taken care of by everyone. We don't add any other permissions. This is kind of like the, the parking lot. And this is getting past the front door on this part here. So that's where you put your security. Hit apply. Hit OK. Next and create. So that's your simple share and setting up your share permissions so that you don't have complexity and issues in the future. Any future permission changes, I would only have to worry with the permissions tab. I would not ever have to worry with the share tab ever again. Uh, number seven, we use group policy to map these small numbers that we just created for the accounting department. I'm gonna go ahead and open up these small numbers with file explorer so I can copy the path easily from it. I'll launch file explorer and I'm just going to copy the path that's listed in file explorer. That way I can paste it into my group policy settings. I'll go to tools, group policy management, 
it hides it on the taskbar. I've got to click it on the taskbar. And did everybody click on accounting? Right click on it and create a new root policy object and link it here. And give it a name. Something like drive map for accounting department, something like that. Some type of name that makes sense that if you look at it later on, you know what it's doing. That works too, but uh, you might have to put on there because each department might have a different drive map. So you may want to be a little more descriptive like when you're doing it for production. It's okay for lab. I'm going to edit. And this is going to be for user accounts because there's only users in the accounting organizational unit. We'll open up preferences. Windows settings, drive maps. We add our new drive mapping. Just right click new drive map. The location, I'll paste in that path statement. I'll set the label so it's easy for the accounting people to, to recognize it in File Explorer. And we have specified to use S drive. There's lots of other options throughout this dialog box here. You only want to ever mess with location, the label, and the drive map. You don't want to make any changes anywhere else, especially with the action drop down. Always leave it at update and click OK. If you didn't leave it at update, you can always go back in and, and change it. Update covers everything in that list. So I'm going to apply that and have update there. Okay, that's your drive mapping. If you wanted to test out those, you could go to your client machine, log in as Joe Dirt. And you should have drive map to F. You know, take him a little while to log in for the first time and generate the desktop and all the settings. On Friday, we'll expand on this. We'll look at setting photos and we'll also look at file screening. It should be a review from last year, but I think a lot of y'all have forgotten in about six, seven months' time. I don't know. How many people did pretty good on that? A couple people. Okay, so when does this come up? Check file or so let me type. I should just run in. It's thinking Windows V works too. Probably going to have about three or four files before Windows open up. It's just running. Running slow. Come on, File Explorer.
So there's my accounting share. It was Office Server 3. Let me verify that it, it worked. And I should be able to open it up. I don't mean to click on network. Should be able to open up and create a file in there. New text document. So that was that was valid. Okay. That's all for today.